maintain the taser. Put it down. Put it down. New body camera video released by Modesto police showing the moments police opened fire on a man after his family called them for help. That man later died from his injuries. CBS 13's Laura Haefeli is live in Modesto with the video and what's next for the officers involved. Laura. Well, this memorial you see behind me sits just steps away from where Paul Chavez was shot and killed by police and now his family is demanding answers. There's a drunk man at my door threatening my life. It started with the 911 call between Paul Chavez's father-in-law and police. I'm getting my gun. If he comes in my door, do I get a chance to shoot him? According to Modesto police, two veteran officers, yeah. Sam Muncy and Sergio Valencia, arrived on scene to find Chavez holding what his father-in-law called a tow hitch. Hi, sir. Hey, don't move, okay? Put that down or you're going to get tased. Put it down. The officer asks Chavez one more time to drop the hitch before immediately firing two shots. Put it down. 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 Get on the ground. Get on the ground. He shot. He shot. It's kind of scary to think that police are just able to shoot in any direction without thinking about families, children, animals. Paul Chavez was shot on Crystal Ewalt's front lawn. Her surveillance camera captured the incident. Well, but I think there was maybe another way to handle it. I don't think shooting him was the right choice. We showed the video to former Sacramento County Sheriff John McGinnis to ask if police could have handled the situation differently. Do you think that a second taser should have at least been attempted before the officer reached for his handgun? I believe that it uh, would be in the realm of reasonableness to apply a second taser. I think that may have worked. Retreating to some uh, extent and deploying the taser may have worked. But on the other hand, and again, it's, it's so important to get the officer's state of mind on this. And that, McGinnis says, is the piece of the puzzle investigators will be looking for. Were the officers justified in fearing for their lives? He explains what he saw, saw that the taser did not work and felt that they didn't have sufficient time, space, uh, and distance in order to, uh, to safely uh, redeploy the taser. I think that presents a, a defensible force of action. Though the family of Paul Chavez has filed a federal civil rights lawsuit against the Modesto Police Department, claiming their actions were unacceptable. The Santa Claus County DA's office is investigating. The two officers involved have both been placed on administrative leave.